Hi, I'm Dr. Parikh, and this is your first week. So each week I try to take some time just to go over what the focus is for that week and to briefly walk through where to find the materials you need for the week. So the first week, a lot of the focus is just on learning what to expect from the course and what you're doing. Uh, so my orientation videos are really long because I err on the side of being thorough. Um, and this week you're also finding your topic, finding your articles. So for my overview videos, I start out with a video like where you can see my face, but then I want to show the to-do list next to Blackboard. So let's go to that. So I highly recommend using the to-do list. I think uh, it's, the, it's the way I would organize information if I were taking the course. So I've done that for you. Um, if it's not working for you, think about other ways to organize the information that will work for you. This is just an extra tool that I give you, but you could do this sort of organization on your own, even without me helping. Uh, so first up are readings. The reading circles are tip posts are typically due earlier in the week. So every week you want to start, you want to be really, you know, reading for the next week, actually. You want to try to get a head start. Uh, and so I go through, so the first one, the step-by-step -step guide, that's a document that's online and it's something that's kind of been passed down from, you know, through syllabi. Uh, so someone else started it, I've adapted it. It talks mostly about the literature review paper, so it doesn't talk as much about the research proposal, but I think it has some really good overview and advice and it's fairly short. Uh, also this week I want you to read a sample paper, one that's a literature review and a research proposal. I recommend picking a matched pair, so when you go into the folder picking two that are by the same person on the same topic so that you can see what changes and what stays the same. You can always read more than one of each um, and you'll hopefully get some insights from other people. When you're reading, um, don't just focus on the content like the actual topic at hand. Also pay attention to what sorts of things the author is doing that help you understand the points they're trying to make. Look at the formatting, look at the length, um, look at the pacing as you go. So try to have this meta brain, this kind of thinking about thinking, have this piece, this part of your brain that's paying attention to what's going on behind the scenes. We'll also start with the Sukman Writing with Style book, chapter one and two, and uh, you'll start reading APA style. Videos, uh, I have tried, I rather than have it actually link, I've, I'll just pull up. Uh, I'm trying to make a playlist in YouTube if it's more comfortable for you to just let it kind of autoplay there rather than clicking from one to one, you know, from through each one in Blackboard. But I do recommend if you're going to do this, I would be signed in to a specific YouTube account when you do it. And the reason is if you and I ever have a disagreement in the future about whether I offered you enough support in the course, you want to be able to show that you used the materials that I gave you. Uh, because sometimes when a student is complaining or a student is saying like, I'm really lost, I absolutely need an emergency meeting. One of the things I will do is I have ways of going in and looking and seeing if you're accessing the materials in Blackboard. Uh, because someone who is uh, claiming an emergency but has, you know, watches maybe a minute or two of the first couple of videos and then drops off, um, I'm going to treat that person with a little more skepticism because it's pretty likely that if they put in the work to use the resources I've already put up, then they could probably answer a lot of their questions. I treat that very differently from someone where I go in and I see that they're watching the videos two, three times and they're, you know, sticking through the whole thing and they've consist. you know, I also look at things like are they consistently turning things in? What's the quality of the work that they turn in? Does it seem like they're putting effort into the discussions? These are all things that I consider when I decide whether to rearrange my schedule to make an emergency meeting. Um, so it's helpful to have some record that you're watching the videos. It doesn't necessarily have to be your Caldwell email, um, but it's just helpful to have uh, something where it's keeping track of a history to show that you've watched. Um, it's not required. I certainly don't check this on a, on a regular basis. This isn't something that you are awarded points for, but it's just helpful to know that I do consider things like whether you're using the resources when there is a special situation that comes up. Uh, I know that, you know, especially the first few weeks, there's just tons and tons of videos uh, and they tend to be longer videos. I'm going to scroll down real quick and give you a, a sneak preview 
When we get to later on in the semester, it's many fewer videos and most of them are fairly short. Uh, so if you haven't noticed, I, I do a few things in this. Uh, so I try to always, you know, brain work. That's how I slow myself down when I'm losing my train of thought. So the purpose of this to-do list is to help you budget your time and to track your time. So I try to always list a page range to help you calculate how long things are going to take to read. Uh, and for the videos, I try to put in how many minutes. Um, here I've got 10. That's probably an optimistic underestimation. Uh, but the rest of it I've got, these are the actual time estimates that the videos, or the actual times that the videos came out to be. Um, so this first week you are watching hours of videos because you're really focused on figuring out what's going on. Uh, many of these videos, like the title page and the article search, you can actually do some of your work while you watch the videos. So the article search video is 30 minutes long, but you'll probably spend 10 or 20 minutes of that actually looking for your articles while I'm talking. Uh, so I highly recommend with most of these videos, rather than sitting and just watching them, have them up on your screen while you're doing uh, other work. Or for example, when uh, you're watching the videos about what a literature review and research proposal are, actually pull up those sample papers that you're supposed to read and look at those as I go through. I usually pull up a sample paper or something to kind of show you as I go through, but it's helpful for you to follow along in the sample paper you're choosing to read. Uh, so I know that there's often a lot of videos, so I sometimes bold the ones that I think you really should watch before doing the Reading Circle post. Usually it's the ones where I'm commenting on what I agree with and what I want to add to the Sukman readings. So those are your videos. Uh, again, they're not directly related to points, but if you're not watching them, I'm probably going to have a good idea because you're going to be making a lot of mistakes. You're not going to know what you're doing. Um, you can watch the videos. Let me show you real quick just in case I haven't shown you elsewhere. I don't think the audio will come through, which is good for our purposes. Uh, but you can hit closed captions. I find for me that I focus a little better when I have... Um, sorry, I just... I can't hear my... Sorry, I was distracted by the buzzing in my ear. Uh, so I find it helpful sometimes to focus when I put on closed captioning. You can also open transcript. So if you would rather read, you can kind of just read through looking here. Uh, you'll notice that when I'm talking, there's very rarely sentence breaks. It, I just kind of keep rolling. Uh, other important things, you can speed them up, slow them down. Oh, that's not what I want to hit. I want to hit the playback speed. So if you're trying to work while I'm doing it and you want me to slow down, you can slow me down uh, different levels. And if you're really focused, you can speed me up and get through them faster. But for those, if you're speeding me up, I recommend just sitting, focusing, watching. So there's the videos. Uh, and there's, again, I th this has, you know, especially if you consider all of the welcome and orientation videos, which are you know, over two hours in, in and of themselves, this is going to be the most videos you'll watch in a week. Even next week, things get just a lot more reasonable. This week, most of the posts in the writing group are pretty chill. Let's go in and look. So when you come in, uh, you will typically come into the announcements. Um, you can go into weekly modules and click on the week. First, it just kind of tells you what the focus is this week, what we're doing, the learning objectives we're working toward. You may never read those, and that's probably okay. Then I have a list. Uh, this doesn't have all the video times on it, but it uh, should match pretty closely with your uh, weekly to-do list. And you click into the folder, and you see, again, all of the videos. Some of the videos I have to put in as links because they're unlisted, so I can't pull them into Blackboard. Uh, I can put them in my playlist though. Um, you can always click through to YouTube if you would rather watch it on YouTube. You can check comments there. You can use the comments to ask me questions. Uh, but it, it's just kind of set up to flow through. And then if you go down to learning activities, these are all links. Uh, I'll talk a little more about how I organize things in the Blackboard orientation. Um, but you can always, if you click through, now you see the description of exactly what's due. 
So first you're going to introduce yourself, you're going to get to know the other people in your small group, and you can always peek at other people in the class too, but I just require you to do the people in your small group. I technically have, so I have a rhythm to my weeks. Tuesdays are when your first post and any APA quizzes are due. Saturdays are when, uh, Thursdays are when your first response and later posts are due. And Saturday is when the last responses and sometimes another APA quiz are due. So I kind of have this rhythm. Then Wednesday and Sunday are your big days to do the assignments that move you forward on the paper itself. So Tuesday is the APA quiz one. Wednesday is the plagiarism tutorial, but I recommend doing them in the, the other order. So I recommend doing the plagiarism tutorial first, then the APA quiz. Uh, so Thursday, you've got your first reading circle post, uh, and I may be, you know, pushing it with when I post what the reading circle assignments are, because I find that right at the beginning of class, I have a lot of people drop. Sometimes I'll have new people add. Uh, so I'm often waiting as long as possible to get the most updated list to make the groups balanced and get roles assigned. Um, so each week you also have, you'll have a check-in where you just kind of talk about how things are going. Uh, so this is not a super brainy, difficult uh, post. And most of the, you know, this is, this class works very differently than most classes. The, the content is different, and so the discussion posts are different. Um, and you have your first assignments moved specifically for the paper, the title page, um, and the articles. You also are going to schedule your tutoring sessions. Um, so, and there's links. Uh, to the Writing Center, how to find out more information. You schedule through your Caldwell portal. Um, you schedule in the same place that you schedule for advising, uh, if you schedule advising appointments through Caldwell's thingamabobber. My brain is not working right now. Uh, you can also do online tutoring, that's fine. Um, so if you go into online writing, or I'm sorry, online tutoring, you can see more information about how to set up those tutoring appointments. So you are not required to have your tutoring appointments ready uh, or to have met with the tutor quite yet, but you have to set them up. Let me see. So you can see I'm just kind of clicking through the same way I did before to get to where everything's listed in the module. Um, so your first meeting has to be the end of module two. So that's the end of week two. And your second meeting is by Wednesday of the fifth week. You can always do them earlier, so you can meet this week and next week and be totally done. I will accept them as early as you want to give them. Um, I do recommend spacing them out a little so you can get help at different points, but these are deadlines, not, you know, you have to do it exactly this time. I want to show you a little more of where to find things. Uh, if you're using the to-do list, you can just think about where things are supposed to be. So if you need to look up your reading group uh, assignment, you can click here. And just as a warning, I, right now I have this whole thing for your class, but I may end up uh, making separate tabs. So there may be a list, a tab for the online class and then tabs for the in-person classes. Uh, discussion board is where anything that's a discussion post will be. And then literature review is where the paper assignments for the literature review go. And then what, you know, when we get to the research proposal part of the course, they'll be there. And APA quizzes. So there's multiple ways to get anywhere in the course. And here, uh, so here on the to-do list, I'll also point out, so I have the minutes for the videos, and then I have the points for the assignments. Uh, you can see there's a ton of assignments, but most of them are pretty small. 10, 15, 30 points. Uh, 30 points is a lot actually for us. Uh, and you get a lot of points just for doing these discussions even though they're kind of light. That's where the cushion in your grade comes in because you will need that cushion uh, when I'm giving feedback on your papers. Not because I do it to be mean, but just that's how, you know, the rubric is how I give feedback. So it's pretty detailed and I mark what you did. Um, one other thing to pay attention to is that the plagiarism quiz, this is part of how I make sure that students are clear on what plagiarism is before we get started in the class. Uh, so make sure that you check 
to see that you got your 10 out of 10 on it. Um, so you have to get all the multiple choice questions right and you have to earn full credit on the, uh, on the essay answer. And usually by the time somebody gets full credit, I often give them a bonus point for being very clear and uh, precise. So a lot of people end up with 11 out of 10 on that. Um, as you, you'll notice that most of the assignments have videos, most of the paper assignments have videos that go along with them as we go through. Um, and those videos may get, I, I've done that partly, I, you know, when I, the first time I set up this course, I just sort of flowed through like I would in lectures. But what I found is then if I want to update an assignment, it's really tough to know how to make that correction in the videos. So this way I can just remake one video instead of having to redo the whole course or go hunting to see where I talk about something. Uh, that being said, if you notice that some of the videos that mention another assignment seem a little funky, uh, compared to what you're seeing, always trust the, the video for that assignment most because it may be that I've updated that one video, but I haven't gone back and redone every video where I randomly mentioned something. So this first week is going to be the most confusing because you're still getting used to the way I do things. You're still getting used to the system. Um, this week, you are not doing a lot of reading for your paper quite yet, but you will need to start reading pretty quickly because by next week, Wednesday, you're going to have uh, the writing sample for the paraphrase. I do. Re I would recommend actually watching the module overviews by about Wednesday of the week before. So by this week, Wednesday, take a peek at what you're going to be doing next week because these are not complete, you know, it's not reasonable to start each week on Monday. Uh, you're going to have too much work get crammed in that's supposed to happen on Wednesday. I do try to spread things out, but it all kind of flows. So that's what you're doing this week, and happy writing. Bye.